but he's a bit leery of the straight. Also, the aggression shown by the button pre-flop and on the flop has the big blind convinced that the button is holding a strong hand. How can the big blind find out exactly how strong the button's hand is? He could try asking him, but it wouldn't get him very far. Also, it's bad etiquette to talk about a hand while it's in play. The fact of the matter is, is that there is no 100% foolproof way for the big blind to know exactly what the button has. He can, however, narrow his probable range of hands down to five or six, based on how tight he's seen the button play in the past, as well as how the button's played each round of this hand. The reality is that even though the big blind just improved the top two pair, he's still losing to three of the six hands he can realistically picture the button holding, and is merely tied with one. These six hands are pocket aces, pocket kings, pocket queens, ace-king, king-queen, and ace-queen. Ace-queen is very unlikely, though. Most players wouldn't cap the flop with second pair, so we can almost rule it out. The big blind is losing to pocket queens, kings, and aces, all of which would make three of a kind. He's tied with ace-king. Of the six most probable hands, the only two he can beat are king-queen and the very unlikely ace-queen, both of which would make worse two-pair hands than his. This thought process 